I guess you're wondering, how did an upper middle class housewife get herself in a predicament like this? Well, that's a question I have asked myself on many occasions. The great Harlem Renaissance writer and poet Langston Hughes once asked the profound question, what happens to a dream deferred? Well, from as far back as I can remember, I have dreamed of being a wife and a mother. You know, a large, beautiful home, a loving, supportive husband with 2.1 kids and a dog. <laughs> that was my dream. Now, don't get me wrong, like many of the girls my age, I wanted to have a successful career as well. And for the most part, I achieved everything that I ever wanted. Say cheese. 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 <laughs> you finish it off? Yes. Yes. Stop it, Mommy. Stop. Not until you give me what I need. What do you mean? I am the sugar monster and I need something sweet. <laughs> okay, going upstairs to me and your daddy can talk. Did you get the deal? I did. Yes. I did. No. Oh, come on. No. You need new furniture. No, no, no. Meanie. Yeah, you love it. Mm. That was right on time, baby. How did you know I needed that? I have a master's degree in natology. Come here. Natology. I like that. <laughs> How's my little man doing in there? You doing any kicking today? Well, he's actually been quiet today. He usually doesn't start jumping around until nighttime, just like his daddy. You know, I'm really looking forward to this, baby. I mean, don't get me wrong, me and, me and Nikki, we got a special relationship. I ain't nothing like daddy's little girl, but Monday night football, and Final Four. Ah. And I'm like that baby boy. Yes, it's just like having a miniature copy of yourself in the world. Yeah, my mini-me. How you know that? I told you I have a degree in natology. And it's one of the things you mentioned on our first date. What was that? Mm -hmm. You said that one of your dreams was to someday have a son so you could teach him everything you knew and be there for him the way your father was never able to be there for you. And I thank God that I will be able to fulfill your dreams. I love you. So how was your first day in your new big position? Good. I just think it's going to take my staff a while to get used to the fact that there's a new sheriff in town and she wears Ann Klein and not Brooks Brothers. Oh, I wouldn't let that worry me too much, baby. Once they realize how smart and well prepared you are, they can't help but to fall in love with you just like I did. Oh, thank you, honey. You are so sweet. So, you ready for tonight? Dinner with Ann and her new friend. You know, I don't want to hear it, Nate. We have been planning this dinner for weeks. I was just going to say I need to go take a shower first. What time does it start? Seven. I'm getting ready to feed Nikki. The sitter will be here at six. OK, I'm going to get ready. Go. Seven, I, but I knew it started get at seven. Get the gone. Poof. <laughs> yes, I achieved all of my dreams. However, that's not where my story begins. It actually begins with my mother. It was the day of her big speech at the Virtuous Women's Annual Convention. And now, without further ado, I bring you the woman who has built this organization from the ground up. Anne has become one of the foremost authorities on women's ministry in the nation. Please, 
join me in welcoming the illustrious president of the Virtuous Women's Ministry of America, Evangelist Lois Helms. Good day, fellow Virtuous Women of America. To my esteemed pastor, Reverend Alton, the distinguished guest on the rostrum, and to all those assembled. We love you, Lois! I love you, too. Each and every one of you. See, I promised myself I was not going to get emotional. But when you spend 25 years of your life working with a group of women who are as committed and dedicated as you all are, it's hard. I'm going to discuss today a topic that is very near and dear to my heart. Reaching young women in today's society. And many of you know I am a proud mother and grandmother. My daughter is a college graduate. Look at Miss T.D. Jakes up there. Woman. Child, it's a mess, she ain't it? Her. What is? Miss Holier Than Thou, standing up there, lying between her teeth, talking about all that God has done for her. I tell you, it's a shame before God. But doesn't the Bible say, let the redeemed of the Lord say so? My gosh, if God has done something good for her, why shouldn't she tell it wherever she goes? Sharon can sound a lot like bragging when you do it too often. Child, ain't that the truth? Mm -hmm. Anyway, don't believe the hype. Lois is phonier than a $12 bill. Oh, my goodness, she's your sister. Why are you saying that? Well, for when one thing, she just started dating that good-for-nothing Teddy Robbins, and I bet you she's sleeping with him already. And you know that how? I know Teddy. I bet you do. Does she know about y'all? No, none of her business. And he's not spending time with a woman unless she's giving up something. You can believe that. If she's so virtuous, she wouldn't even be dating a man like that. And now in the springtime of my deliverance, I am encouraged and blessed by the legacy that my sweet daughter Patty is destined to leave me as a truly virtuous woman. Well, what about Patty? She's doing OK, isn't she? Well, I'd be doing good, too, if I had a husband as fine as Nate. <laughs> nice and strong. <laughs> if Lois spent half the time with her daughter, as she spend running around the country pretending to be Miss Super Christian, she'd be better off because uh, quiet as is kept, all is not well in paradise. Hmm. I heard that. And now as I, I tell you what, if Patty, girlfriend, what's her name? Patty. Patty ever slips up? You tell your nephew Nate to holler at her sister. I'll take real world. good care of him. <laughs> Girl, you crazy. <laughs> Now, that's your sister, Lily. Don't you call her out on it. Half sister, excuse me. And I don't have to, because my mama always said what don't come out in the wash will come out in the rinse. She'll eventually reap what she sows. So, Lily, how's your daughter doing? I haven't seen her around lately. Who, baby? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's fine, honey. She just got a new job and is about to move into her own apartment. Oh, that's nice. That's but I am inspired by the words that the Lord spoke to the Apostle Paul's thorn-pierced soul. My grace is sufficient for thee. Thank you all for listening. I love you. God bless you all. Yeah, well, I just want to see if you've been paying attention to all the training that I've been giving you. Apparently not. Because for the last 15 minutes, I've been up in that little observatory right there observing you, and you never, ever did know. So what did I always tell you? What I always say? I say, look, this way, that way, right, left, 60 meters, that way you can notice any suspicious peoples. 
Look. I appreciate your concern, but if you think I'm gonna walk around like some spy or special agent like you are, you are sadly mistaken. I'm trying Everybody. to keep you safe, baby, <laughs> all right? This is all the safety I need. <laughs> How'd you like my speech? Magnifique. Not only that, you delivered it with the grace and the precision of a brilliant orator. Oh, stop. Yeah, so to properly celebrate your retirement, I reserved a table for you oh. and me and B. Smiths where we can chat on with some nice cuisine, listen to some smooth jazz, and then afterwards go to your house and get into a little song, song. Uh, stop it now. What? Didn't we discuss this before? I told you when we got together, I'm a Christian woman, and I don't engage in sex before oh, marriage. Yeah. Besides, we've only been seeing each other for a few months. Yeah, it's more like three and a half months. Like, this is the second time around, like 20 years ago now again. Come on, baby. I I'm know, I know. Brother, post away. Well, look, if you want it, you better put a ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> OK. OK? All right, we talk about it later. All right. Hey, sis. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That was a splendid presentation you gave today. Thank you. Girl, I tell you, you're gonna really be missed. Thank you, I'm gonna miss you guys too. But like I said in my speech, there's a season for everything under the sun. Now it's time for me to step aside and let somebody else take over. You feel all right, trust me. I hope so. <laughs> so, what's up next for Miss Big Time Evangelist? Movies, book deals, Oprah? <laughs> Actually, I was thinking about writing a book, but I think I'm just gonna relax and enjoy Nikki. I heard mm -hmm. that. Well, what happened to your dreams of retiring to Florida? I guess this economy finally brought you back down to earth with the rest of us, huh? Damn. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> you serious, ain't you? As a heart attack, I have been saving like crazy. I'm almost there. Barring any unforeseen circumstances, I will be sitting on the front porch overlooking the Atlantic Ocean by the end of the year. Well, you go, girl. Just don't forget about your big sister when you get there. Oh, you can visit anytime. Just don't stay too long. <laughs> <laughs> All Look, right. I'm going over here to holler at Geraldine for a minute. Okay. I'll call you later. All right. Okay. Thanks. Oh, where's this girl? Hey, kids. Yeah. Uh, Are you ready to see some tricks? I was going to ask you the same thing. She was supposed to meet me after work, but she never showed up. I just assumed she was here with you. Yeah, well, she better get up behind here, because I got things to do. hooked up with one of her girlfriends from work and just forgot all about me. Nate, it's mom. I was wondering if you know where Patty is. When you get this message, call me right away. Okay, bye. Baby, can't you see I'm using the phone? I thought you were watching the clown. I'll call you in a little bit, okay? I'm hungry. If you tell me you are hungry one more time. It's low, it's low. I came here to pick up Breland and Anaya anyway, so why don't you let me take Nikki with me? We'll grab a pizza and go to the park or something while you wait on Patty. Would you? Sure, Miss Lois. No Thank problem. you. Bro. Okay, go on with Miss Ann, all right? Come on, girl. Who is everybody? Lois. Yes. Pastor. We forgot to give you something. again. I was wondering if you heard from Patty yet. Call me as soon as you get this. Oh, man. What is going on? Are you having an emergency phone call? 
Excuse me. Hello? Nate, where have you been? I've been trying to reach you all day. I've been in meetings all day. What's wrong? Patty was supposed to pick Nikki up this afternoon. I have not seen her. Anne came, but she didn't know where Patty was. I've been waiting all day for her. Do you have any idea where she is? Mom, calm down. Listen, my meeting is almost over. I'll meet you in the house in about an hour, OK? OK, OK, I'll be there. Hello, Howard University Hospital. Hello. I was wondering if you have recently admitted a patient by the name of Patricia Carter? One moment, please. Sorry. We have no one here by that name. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. You. Bye. Patty was supposed to pick Nikki up this afternoon, and she never showed up. Have you heard from her? No, not since this morning. She was supposed to hook up with Anne and then meet you at the conference. Oh, Lord. I'm starting to get worried, Nate. This is so unlike Patty. She would have called me by now. Something's happened. All right, well, I don't think you need to, you need to panic, Mom. Have you talked to Anne? Yes, she was at the conference, and she hasn't seen or heard from her. I have called every friend and family member I could think of. I even called all the hospitals. I would call the police, but I don't think they'd do anything until they've been missing for 36 hours or something. Lord. What about, um, Ann's new friend Franklin? He's a DC cop, right? Maybe he can help us. I'm gonna call Ann. I wish I could do more, but that's the policy. Give it another 24 hours. If she doesn't show up, I'll do a full report. I tell you what, fill out this form. I'll send out a department-wide email. That way, all the officers would at least be aware that she may be missing. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. No problem. I wish I could do more. I love you, Patty. Where well, is my baby? I loathe you, Patty. Why don't you just call me? Oh, God. touch anything until the police comes, okay? Daddy, sorry for yelling at you, baby. Okay? Come here, sweetie. Hello? Ma, hey, can you hold on to Nikki for me? Somebody broke into the house.
So give me full details. It's not much to give. I found it like this when I got home. What time did you get home? Got here around 1 o'clock, and I found it like this. I immediately called you, and then I took Nikki to my mother-in-law's. That's not all. Come here. I keep at least $2,500 worth of cash in there at all times. And that was empty. Have you noticed anything else missing? No. No clothing, no jewelry, no high-end equipment? No. And you've noticed no false entry, no broken glass, no locks that may have been tampered with? But I did, um, I did find this in the front lawn. Let's take that into evidence. We're gonna do some more tests on the house. Perhaps it's gonna give us a few leads. But in the meantime, you should consider changing your locks. If I change my locks, how's my wife gonna get in the house? I'm just saying, man, for the safety of you and your daughter, if I was you, I mean, listen, when your wife gets home, she can always go stay at the relative's house or friends until you get there. It's just a recommendation. Let me pull over. Girl, where are you? It doesn't matter. Where's Nikki? She's with your mother. Now, where are you? There's no hope for me, Ann. Don't talk like that. Now, look, tell me where you no. are. I'm coming to get you. I just... I just called to see if I could borrow some money. You know, you know I'm good for it. Well, how much do you need? About $2,500. $2,500? Patty, I don't have that kind of money on me. I thought you had some money in the bank. What happened to all that money you had saved? Patty? Look, Ann, don't, 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 don't hassle me. You gonna give me the money or what? We'll discuss that when I come and get you. Now tell me where you are. How come nobody cares about where I am until they don't know where I am? Besides, you can't come where I am. Well, why not? Can you speak? Is somebody there with you? Patty, are you being held hostage? Yes. How soon can you get me the money? OK, now, tell me where you are first. Hello, Patty. Patty. Oh, God. Yes, I need to speak to Lieutenant Franklin. So, to what do we owe this nocturnal honor? I heard from Patty tonight. She asked to borrow $2,500. I think someone may be holding her hostage. That's why we thought it was important to have this emergency gathering. Time is of the essence. Nate, do you know anyone that would have been motivated to do something like this, a business partner? An associate, anybody? No, I mean, my business is pretty cutthroat, but I can't imagine somebody doing something like this. I'm not shocked. I've seen a lot of things my 30 years on the force. Uh, Franklin, I don't know if anyone has mentioned to you, but I work for the FBI. Now, uh, although I've usually handled more high-profile cases, such no offense. Stay in your lane. This is a local incident and MPD have been trained to handle situations like this. Thank you. No problem. 
Nate, I'm going to need the names of your business associates and most fierce competitors. Yes, ma'am. I actually just finished changing them, so I'm gonna drop Nikki off in about an hour, okay? Okay. How long will you be gone? I don't know, Ma. It shouldn't be no more than two days. Oh, that's no problem. Okay. See you when I get there. Your money in five minutes. This how we do it. Believe me, I don't want no drama. Man, I just cripple. Nikita Koloff, man, let's just I'm usually in the streets, hanging like I'm umbilical. Hold up, I'm coming with you. Hey, yo, Patty. Look, this ain't no game, alright? He gonna pop again, both our heads. Now look, you just go in like you did last time, alright? You get this money, and we out. Right. I told you, I, I got this. Right. Come on. Go on, y'all. Go get it. What's going on? Oh, my key won't work. What the hell? Um, can I use your phone? I need to make a call. Man, what I look like, AT&T? You want your money, right? Good for it, young man. She's she good for Thank it. Thank you. Hello? Patty, where are you? We've been worried sick about you. Um. I can't talk to you about that right now. I'll tell you about it later. Oh, you got a lot of explaining to do. Where are you? I'm gonna come get you. No, I'm, I'm home. Um, I, I, can't, I can't get my key to work. What's going on? Ma? They changed the locks. What? What, what do you mean, he changed the locks? This, this is my house. What gives him the right to change the locks? My house. Patty, what do you expect? You've been gone for three days and somebody broke into the house. I don't care how long I've been gone. This is still my house. Look, Patty, why don't you come over here and we'll talk about it. No, Ma. I, I need you to call Nate right now and tell him to let me in. Nate is out of town. Nikki's here with me, so you don't have no choice. You just need to come home and be with your family. We miss you. What? No, Ma. If I get these people their money, they gonna kill me. Well, how much money do they need, Pat? Thirty-five hundred dollars. Thirty. 
I, I thought it was 25. When did it go up? Patty? Okay, Pat, if I get the money, will they let you go? Yes. All right, all right. Um, where do you want me to meet you? Uh, meet me at the corner of 6th and Florida Avenue in an hour. Patty, I can't meet you in an hour. The banks will not open. I, I, I'll get it first thing in the morning, and I'll meet you at 9.30, OK? OK. Uh, uh, Patty? My mom's going to give it to you first thing in the morning. Yeah, I told you she was good for it. I told you she was good for it, right, cuz? She got this. You always must think this is a game. <gasps> now, see, when we get back around the way, you best be coming up with my five Gs or else I'm going to put the steel to your head. $5,000? I only owe you $3,500. Yeah. Oh, really? No, nah, see, you and Shawty smoked that up this morning. Now you owe me interest. Plus, you owe me for bringing me all the way out here on game time. You dig? Don't worry. I'll get you money. I ain't worried. Because, see, if I know one thing, even if you got to get out there on them streets turning tricks, you're going to get my money. And every hour you late, tab goes up. Drive. Where are you? Ma, do you see the man hiding in the bushes? Yeah. He's gonna walk over and get the money from you. Okay, but I need them to release you as soon as they get it. It's not happening that way, Ma. What do you mean it's not happening that way? They're not gonna let me go as long as you're here. Trust me, I'll be home in, in an hour after they get their money. Okay. Got something for me?
Now is not a good time, Ted. Put your clothes on, baby. We're going out tonight. <laughs> You're so sweet. I, I can't. Hey, baby, hey, I am not hearing this. I got tickets for the Phantom of the Opera. I got dinner reservations before that. I got the chefs waiting. So, baby, if you want to go to heaven, the curtain's at seven months. <laughs> I, I can't, Ted. I can't. I'm sorry. Lois, baby. Sitting around the house, I mean, mumping is never, ever going to make things better. I can. I have Nikki with me. So call Anne. I'm quite sure she'll take care of Nikki for you. Listen, I'm not going to leave this place to you say Jess. I want you to say Jess. <laughs> say Jess. Come on, you can say <laughs> Jess. Say Jess. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Made me sick. All right. It's been an unbelievable week. Hey, Talk about it at dinner, okay? okay? Why don't you fix yourself something while I call in and pull myself together, okay? Good girl. Hey, baby, uh, you got any of that bourbon um, left here the other day? In the kitchen cabinet where you left oh. it. <laughs> you know, only one drinks around here. Table like this way. This is sweet. Thank you. Thank you for being so honest. I really needed this. <laughs> hey, everything's gonna be all right, baby. You know, I haven't had a good night's sleep in days. Worrying about Patty and afraid that at any moment I'm gonna get that infamous call from the police or the morgue telling me to come identify her body. I don't know what to do, Dad. Hey, everything's gonna be I took all that money out, and I thought they were going to release her. Wait, wait, hold, 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 all that money? What are you talking about? For, for who? For Patty. What? She called me yesterday. She told me to meet her at the corner of 6th and Florida, and if I bought $3,500, they would let her go. So I went to the bank, and I withdrew some of the money I was saving for my retirement. Who would you get the money to? I don't know. Some old hoolum with a scraggly beard. Wait a minute, man. What are you telling me? You took $3,500 in cash and you gave it to some hoodlum with a beard. You know what that is? That is insane. I don't need your criticism right now, Ted. You're right. This guy um, with this beard, I think you would recognize him again if you saw him? That'll come in handy with the investigation. What are you doing? Call out my man, Jack Wilson. It's about time we got to the bottom of this. Jack. Yes, Ted, Ted, yeah. Um, yeah I'm fine, man. How you doing? Okay, good. Look, uh, check. Uh, favor. Working on a very important case. Yeah, it's personal. My man. Okay, I'll uh, see you at the bureau in the morning. We're gonna find out who's behind this in a few days now. That I promise you. Jack is one of the best agents we got. Uh, this is something I should have took care of a long time ago. This situation is much too big for Franklin and his MPD boys. But I don't know, this something's got me, it's got me puzzled. I mean, why would they ask for such a small amount? What kind of hostage takers would ask for only $3,500? It doesn't make sense unless they put their from in the hood. What's the matter? That's what I'm afraid of. What? Patty's past coming back to haunt us. Maybe you don't think? I don't know what to think. All I know is that I'm 
just toss it and turn it every night, contemplating where I failed as a parent. Oh, God, you failed no one. Well, why is it happening then? I don't know. I, I, I just wonder if, if my decision to leave her dad has something to do with this. Oh, God, here, this one again. Look, that was many years ago. Hey, you made the best decisions you could do at the time. Listen to me. Hey, baby, stop reliving the past. Besides, you think that old factory worker could have ever afforded to take it to a high-class, five-star place like this? <laughs> There's my smile. Good to see you guys. Have a seat. So, well, I got good news and bad news. Okay, well, give us the good news first. We got a positive ID on well no criminal in the area. She has a long record of petty theft, robberies, drug possession. We should have no problems locating her. Okay, well, that's, that's great news. What, spit it out, brother. Well, there's no easy way to say this. The results also indicate that your wife, more than likely, was with the criminal. What? Franklin, she lives there. Of course her prints are gonna be on everything. My DNA is probably on everything, too. No, you don't understand. These tests that was taken was taken exclusively at the crime scene. The cell phone that you gave me, your wife and the suspect prints was all over it. So what are you saying, Franklin? Since there was no forced entry, it looks like it, it was an inside job. You know what? I'm tired of you coming up with these theories, Franklin. What I need for you to do is solve this case. Let's go. Well, no, 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 Nate. Just, just sit down, sit down. Listen, no disrespect. Let me just be very clear. I'm not saying that Patty stole anything. These people probably forced her to do it. But one thing's certain and two things for sure. Patty and the suspect was together the day of the crime. This is insane. So what's the suspect's name, Frank? Diane Bebe Johnson. What? Diane Bebe Johnson. She's a well-known criminal oh, in this area. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. 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 So, Mom, are you okay? Oh, Lord, give me strength. Diane, or Bebe, is Patty's younger cousin. She's my sister Lily's only child. I don't feel like playing this anymore. You would think that since Patty was the oldest, she would have been the leader of the relationship, but that was far from the case. Bebe seemed to have a gravitational pull on Patty. This, baby. Stop being such a scaredy cat and just drink, and just drink it. What are you scared of? It didn't take long for her to graduate. At first, it was just alcohol and... Patty! What a, get up! What is going on down here? Then it was I marijuana. Before long. Get up those stairs right now. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. It's bottles under this bed. What are you doing? Oh, my goodness. It's not what it looks you like. You don't have a problem, No, Patty. you're, you're holding it for my friend. Stop it. You have a problem, and you are not going to disrespect I'm me not, in my house. Do you understand I'm me? I'm not disrespecting you. <sighs> don't, don't touch me. She seemed so angry and you bitter. I thought I was going to lose her. I'm leaving. Come ahead. A couple of you go 
already shared your story. Um, now I want Lily to share a little bit about how you came to be here today. My best friend brought me here today. She didn't like that I do drugs, but ever since I was little, my mom. No, I was only house school. It's good. Okay, do you have any friends? Yes, I have friends. Okay, do you like to hang out with your friends? Yes, I like to hang out with my friends. I'm not a nutcase. I don't just stay at home. You know what? Let's try a different approach. Great. So, Patty, what made you decide to try alcohol? My love, my little baby. And then God answered my prayers and things started to change. Excuse me, could you repeat that? My little husband, baby. So we've talked about who you are. What brought you here today? Now let's talk a little bit about how we're going to deal with this. Well, um, I guess you all know how I've got here from my little cousin, Bebe. And now I'm hanging out with people that, you know, focus in school or in activities. And it's just, I realized, like, I'm better. I'm a better me. We kept her away from Bebe. And we got her back on track. She graduated from high school, and she got the scholarship to Howard University. And then met you. I had every intention of telling you sooner. The time got away, then after a while, I, you two were doing so well, I didn't want to bring you any problems. Besides, I thought Patty would have told you by now anyway. I'm sorry, son. Nate, please say something. out there somewhere. Oh, Lord, please take care of my baby. When will this nightmare end, Lord? Probably not until she's dead. At least then I'll know where she is. What the hell are you doing, Sonny? We don't have all day, man. Give me a second, cuz. What are you doing, Sonny? Man, chill out, man. You messing up my swag, man. This goes out for the homies that ain't here no more. Not today, man. Whoop, whoop. Don't sleep, man. Don't sleep. Play golf, son. Man, you done messed up my tips, man. I'm trying to cheer you up, young. Lighten the atmosphere around here. The atmosphere don't need lighting. Just play golf, son. Are we going to play or what, son? You like that sound, don't you? If you get out your head, man, stop your crying. And might learn how to do this. Come on, 
Nate, man. You ain't been yourself today, man. Talk to me. I don't want to talk about it, Sonny. That's why we come out here every week, huh? So we can talk about it. You can't talk to me, man. Who can you talk to? Why would I talk to you, Sonny? I'm a married man. And you in your late 40s running around here like a teenager trying to be a player. Can you possibly understand what I'm going through? Teenager? I'm a grown man. What I was saying. It's hard out here for a pimp, man. Sick, you know that? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, man. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry, cuz. Nate, man, for real. What's going on, man? You can talk to me. I feel like my whole life is disintegrating right before my eyes, man. I don't know what to do, Sonny. I didn't tell you this, but, um, Patty's been missing, man. It was worse than she's pregnant. First, they said that it's a possibility that she was being held hostage. I get a call yesterday that says, um... Hey, man. Hey. It's gonna be all right, man. Believe me, I'm talking to you. I found out yesterday that... My wife was an addict as a teenager. Hey, I'm sorry, man. 15 years, sonny. 15 years I've been married to this woman. I don't know what's true anymore, man. But like my whole life is a farce. I'm just not that very good at this because it's usually you that gives the advice. All I can think of is what you told me on so many occasions. What was that? You got to trust God, man. You're the one that always said that he's faithful and he's never failed you yet. And what better time to trust in his faithfulness than now? Feel me, man? Yeah, okay. Let's go play this golf, man. about what? We need to call the police. That's what wait, wait, wait. Doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to figure out who's behind this. You don't think... The, honey, why don't you go next door and play with Deborah? But, Grandma... Look, no buts, Nikki. Everything's gonna be all right, okay? Just don't tell anybody the way the house looks, okay? Lois, you don't think Patty would do something like this, would you? That's why I invited you here today, Pastor. relapsed. Oh, no. After all the years. No, no, no. This is not the worst nightmare. <sighs> Quite frankly, Pastor, I don't think I could go through it again. <laughs> tell me, tell me when does one stop reaping the bitter harvest? of youthful lust. How long, how loud does one have to yell before God hears her desperate cries? Oh, no. Gone. What? What's gone? The emergency money I keep in that jar is gone. Every damn bit of it is gone. <laughs> Patricia Helms, God, I hate you. Oh, I curse the day you were born. Do you hear me? <laughs> yes, mother. I hear you.
Who is it? Where's my money? Oh, it's... Thirty-five hundred dollars wasn't enough for you. No, it's not. You had to come back and get it all. Stop. Thirty-five hundred dollars of my retirement money. Oh, stop but it. But you needed more. You need to stop. Well, you can smoke away your hopes and dreams, but I'll be damned if you gonna smoke away mine. Mama, I'm sorry. That's enough. Oh, my son, you think I'm paying you too much? What's going on? Hey, baby. I don't think I'm gonna make it, Pastor. Uh, you will. You're a strong black woman, but I don't think we should focus on you so much right now. Patty, she's got to be hurting pretty bad to do something this drastic. Think I give a rat? Do you think I care how much Patty's hurting right now? I'm dying here. We talking about dying? <sighs> These should be my golden years. I should be on a beach somewhere, relaxing by the water. Instead, I'm here dealing with a crackhead daughter who's trying to take every dime I got. I just turned 60 years old, Pastor. Oh, look at me. Oh, I used to be an attractive middle-aged woman. Now look like I'm 75 years old. You're still very attractive. Thank you, Pastor, but I know better. I want to show you something. And please, Pastor, not a word of this to anybody. Lois, we're, we're going to have to. Please, Pastor, not one word. What's up, baby girl? She in there? <laughs> Don't smoke it all in one place.
goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen.
see I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. Lord, we choose life. Amen. I think she moved. Patty. Patty, baby, can you baby, hear us? Baby, we're here. Open your eyes. Can you hear us? Patty, can you hear us? Oh. Open your eyes, Patty. Glory be to God. <laughs> She's awake. <laughs> Thank Praise you, Jesus. Praise his holy name. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Look at God. Uh, no. <laughs> I would like some of my mommy's really good fried chicken. <laughs> hey, what's up, Terry? You see your teddy bear, baby? What are you doing here? You know I'm talking to you. Get the hell out of my room. Patty. Get out before I call security. Patty, what is wrong with you? He's a no good child molester and a a rapist. Whoa, what? What? Patty, that's a serious accusation. Now, you can't say that unless you have some kind of proof. Proof? I'm all the proof you need, Pastor. Oh, God. I've been trying to tell everyone this for years, but no one would listen. Mom, when you used to leave me with Aunt Lily, Teddy would sneak into the room with Bebe and me. years. And each time he would finish with me, he would leave me a gift. He said it was to remind me of him. He said that he was my teddy bear. To this day, I can't stand stuffed animals, especially teddy bears. running away, Ma, huh? It is time for you to stand up and be the evangelist that you claim to be. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Ma, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Mrs. Carter, I'm Dr. Williams. I'm the resident psychiatrist here at the hospital. I just wanted to do a routine checkup to see how you're coming along. So, how have things been going? Have you been able to sleep? No. Okay, let's try something. I want you to close your eyes Lay back and just relax for a few moments. 
That's right. Just relax. Now, what comes to your mind? Who am I and where do I belong? Daddy, do you love me? Yes, baby, you know your daddy loves you very, very much. How much? What with all the questions today? Oh, you're so happy. Well, happy little girl. You know your mother has been away for us at the house, so we gotta get home and I gotta get to work. I'll see you in the morning. Mm-hmm. You promise? Yes, I promise. Cross your heart? Cross my heart. Mm -hmm. Cross my heart two times. Three times? Look, sweetie, we gotta get home before your mother puts her hand across both our butts. I think all my problems began the night my daddy left. Daddy loves you. Thought I was a loser and blame myself for everything. But now, when I look in the mirror, I see what God That was the last time I saw my daddy. I thought there was something wrong with me. Maybe I wasn't pretty enough. This was the foundation of all my hurt and pain. And then one morning, on my way to work, my life took a sudden dramatic turn for the worse. Off in some church somewhere talking about Jesus' love. She ain't never loved me. <laughs> she put me out a long time ago. That's all right. We get all the love we need. Ain't that right, baby? <laughs> you know that's right. <laughs> you been up on Trinidad lately, huh? Uh, no, I've been working a lot. I ain't mad at you, cuz. Go ahead, make that cheddar. <laughs> but hey, look. Red's in them back, girl. Just like the old days. <laughs> and they got that butter, too. <laughs> Come on now, you remember. So listen, that's what you're going to do, all right, cuz? You get off work, you're going to come down, and we're going to light it up, just like we used to back up in the day. No, I'm oh. good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. All right. You probably right. You go on here and do the right thing. But you change your mind. You know where to find me. I'll let your girl, all right? Okay. Come on. You good, cuz. Give your cousin a little peace. Come on, bring me off a little something. Come on, cuz. Uh, you ain't eating days, girl. I'm so hungry, like. We so hungry. Aw, oh, you good for a cuz, Dave. <laughs> I realize now that it was no coincidence I ran into Bebe. All throughout the week, I kept getting these signs and, and, and symbols of getting high. It was as if Satan himself was setting me up. Reds in them back, girl. Just like the old days. Just like <laughs> the old butter. days. <laughs> and they got that butter too, right? <laughs> and they got that butter too, right? <laughs> Go light it up. Go Just light like it up. Just like we used to back up in the day. Show me now. Now, you know I'm trying to get at least an A-bomb, right? A -bomb. <laughs> you know, I, 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 Change your mind. You know where to find me. I'm sorry. We couldn't save the baby. Monday night football. <gasps> Final four. <laughs> that baby boy, man. <laughs> Thank you.
Look, I think you should come back and see me for a few more sessions. I think there's much we need to talk about. Welcome to NA's Road to Recovery. My name is Tony. I'm a recovering alcoholic as well. And I'm 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 I just wanted to bring you here today to talk about the principal objectives. First one being to admit the problem. Does anyone have anything they want to share? Anyone? Anyone at all? Yes, ma'am. Hi. My name is Patty and um, some things from my past came back to haunt me, and I, uh, I didn't know how to deal with it. So I uh, started doing crack. I'd done drugs when I was young. Glad you could make it. Well, haven't I always been there for you? I have something very important I need to ask you. Go ahead. And I want you to look me in my eyes when you answer the question. Did you molest Patty when she was a child? I wanted to talk to you face to face. Now, I'm gonna ask you again. Did you rape and molest my daughter? I've been bragging to my friends, but I finally found somebody I could trust. It's amazing how gullible we women are. I also found out what you do for the FBI. You think I was so shallow that I cared whether or not you were a security guard or some high-level special agent? I loved you, but now I want you to leave. I said get out, because my daughter may be a lot of things, but she is not a liar. So you get out of my house before I call the real police.
couldn't save the baby. That was the final straw. I knew then that Satan had won. I didn't have the resolve to fight anymore. I just wanted to escape. From then on, it was about escaping reality. I was so disappointed with myself, I couldn't stand it. I had to do whatever it took to stay high. As always, the money eventually wears out. So, when Anne asked me if I was being held hostage, I just went along with it. Yes. So that's what's been going on. You know, Mrs. Carter, I don't believe that you have a drug problem. I think you're suffering from bipolar disorder. Bipolar? Yes, it's a disorder characterized by huge mood swings from euphoria to severe depression. When you're in a depressive state, you want to feel normal again. So you self-medicate by using drugs. Bipolar is often caused by some form of severe trauma, like the abuse you experienced as a child. The good thing is it's treatable with therapy and medication. Now this medication will take about a week or so to get into your system. However, shortly thereafter, you should start to feel your depression lifting and your mood stabilizing. Thank you. I'll make your next appointment for Friday at 10. So many ways When I am down You raise me up And you give me the strength to go She were here now, Mama. Show up and use your advice.
so he started dancing. Yeah. <laughs> YMCA. Huh? He's a really bad dancer. <laughs> <laughs> but he makes you happy. He does. Yeah. He does. That's good. That's good. And when I cry, he'll try my tears. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Yeah. It is. I'm sorry. You hurt me more than words can say. But yet my love for you is still here. It's still strong. The question that I have for you is, do you love yourself? I've asked that question my entire life. You know, when I was stretched out on my back in that hospital, my dad, my dad came to me in a vision. as if God has given me a second chance. So, the answer to your question is I'm learning. I'm learning to love myself as I learn to love God. And from now on, I am no longer living my life as a victim but as the victorious woman that God has called me to be. How in the world did we get here? Here you go. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Cheers. I'm sorry, Ma. I'm sorry for all of the hurt and pain that I've caused you over the years. You didn't deserve that. I have so much I need to tell you. I don't know where to begin. Oh. But I ask that you just hear me out. Eddie loves you. I think all my problems began the night my daddy left. <clears throat> that was the last time I saw him. But what's worse is that he never said goodbye and you never mentioned him from that moment on. Why, Ma? How come after all these years, you, you never talk about my daddy? I don't know. I come from a time and a culture where you just don't talk about your problems. If a man is beating on you, keep it to yourself. Cheating on you, you keep that to yourself. Mama was abused by Lily's father. She told me you take your troubles to the Lord, nobody else. I'm sorry, baby. I agonized for years over the decision to leave your father, afraid it might have this kind of effect on you, but there was nothing else I could do. 
What do you mean? Well, your father, though he loved you very much, was not a good husband. He had many issues, not the least of which was alcoholism. Mommy, I gotta get somebody to come look at this door, baby. Six o'clock. Where have you been? I know what time it is. Where I have you know. been? It's six o'clock. I told you I was going out. No, no, no. You have a family. You can't be gone Why all night. Why can't I? It's single late anymore. at night. You guys we are sleeping. Why can't I enjoy you sleep? You don't care about us. I am so I sick care, of this. Baby, you, look, you have. You. you are so not responsible. Calm down. Calm. What is this? Look, don't get all dramatic, sweetheart. Look, I ran to some friends. I've been putting up with your lies and your deceptions all this time. Don't touch me. Look at this. And there's more. Look, look. Wait. All these, all these numbers on other women. That's you don't. Problem. Those are probably some of Patrick. Don't you lie on my child. I'm tired of your lying nobody. and your deceit. I'm so tired of you. I am sick and tired of you. Don't you touch me. Sit down. things to turn out this way. But I just couldn't take the abuse anymore. Now that you told me what Teddy did, oh, God, I could just die. It's not your fault, Ma. I used to blame you. Teddy. Myself. But when I learned in treatment that most child abusers were abused themselves, I understood it a little better. Not that it hurt any less. I could never forgive Teddy for this. Well, he's not the only one who needs forgiveness. jealous of me. I didn't know her hatred stemmed so deep. I'm so sorry, baby. I should have spent more time ministering to your needs rather than the needs of others. Can you ever forgive me? Of course I can, Ma. As long as you can forgive me. All this time we've been looking for the enemy and it has been right here with us. Well, they say keep your friends close and your enemies even closer. But I say keep my family closest of all. I love you. Tell us you were sick, Ma. Um, I I started I started to tell you about it when we had a little talk, but you two been going through so much. I didn't want to burn you, Mommy. Don't ever think that your problems are a burden to us. We love you. We're a family, and we are in this together. No more secrets then. Promise. All right. I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> hey. 
the kids. Hey, Aunt Lily. But Ma, we'll be right back. We're gonna go to the cafeteria and get something to eat. Right okay, could y'all bring me some of that vegan stuff you eat? <laughs> Hospital food is disgusting. Got you covered. Okay. <laughs> How'd the executive meeting go the other day? Child, Gloria showed her behind. She stood in front of the committee and said the reason why she wasn't voted president was because we were jealous of her. Can you believe that? No, she lost the vote because she's trifling. Girl, it's a mess. Lily. Just the other... That was baby. She's a baby. Before you even try to think of a lie, I know she was behind Patty's relapse. And I know she got Patty started on drugs in the first place. But what breaks my heart is that my own flesh and blood could allow my baby girl to be repeatedly raped and molested. I could kill you. But what I will do is pray. I'm gonna pray for you. Because anybody who could do something that evil, you got to be in more pain than I can ever inflict on you. Your daughter left us at my daughter's house when she staged a break in. Make sure she gets it. Because I don't ever want to see the two of you. Take your damn balloons with you. some good news for you. Your chemo treatment is working. Told your husband when he was changing all them locks? Don't get to change your garage door. Now you knew I was gonna get my money, didn't you? You knew I was gonna get it. Huh? Yes, yes. See, now you owe me your life plus 30 G's. So what you say we get my money now, huh? Huh? You with that? <laughs> Work that combination, girl. Don't look at me. Send the board. You know, Mom? Oh, I guess. That's the first time I realized how much you love me. 
And where did you get all that superhuman <laughs> strength? You surprised me. I surprised myself. But I guess I can do all things through God who strengthens me. Amen. Especially when it comes to my baby. What we say? Let, Let the, the redeemed of the Lord say so. Wow. You have such an amazing story. I do have one more question for you, however. Sure, go right ahead. After all your trials and tribulations, what would you say is the one thing that's the key to your success? Truth. Truth. Jesus says, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Today, I can honestly say that it wasn't until I faced the truth about myself, my past, that I was really free. <laughs> Mrs. Carter, you are such an inspiration to many women. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. As I looked out into the cloudy abyss of my troubled past, I realized the thing that I had feared the most was not worth fearing at all. My mother never got her dream home in Florida. Instead, she got a dream condo with a fantastic view, and she's still really close to us. Sometimes I can't help but think that this was God's plan all along. Today, I really understand the true meaning of the scripture I heard my mom quote so many times. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Stand up against the wrong Tell me how you gonna ever stop from being weak Unless you made your mind up to be strong Well, you got to do right Cause it won't be long, it won't be long 
Bye. 